Let us now look at 32nd question of gate 2019. The question is, an aluminum single crystal is loaded in tension along 1, 1 bar 0 axis. Among the following slip systems, we need to find the one that will be activated first. As we know, the resolved shear stress tau RSS is written in terms of applied tensile stress sigma multiplied by cos phi n and cos phi d where phi n is the angle between the stress axis and the slip plane normal and phi d is the angle between the slip axis and the slip direction and when the applied stress reaches the yield stress that is sigma y then the resolved stress reaches its critical value and it will be called as critical resolved shear stress and this geometric factor cos phi n multiplied by cos phi d is called as Schmitt's factor. The applied tensile stress sigma and the resolved shear stress is a material property whereas the Schmitt's factor varies depending on the slip system. The slip system having highest Schmitt's factor will be activated first. So let us find the Schmitt's factor for all the four given slip systems, it is given that the tensile load is applied along 1, 1 bar, 0 axis. We need to find cos phi n and cos phi d for each slip systems. The angle between the directions u1, v1, w1 and u2, v2 and w2 is given by the formula cos theta equals u1 u2 plus v1 v2 plus w1 w2 divided by root of u1 square plus v1 square plus w1 square into root of u2 square plus v2 square plus w2 square. So let us now find the Schmitt's factor for option A. The tensile direction is common for all that is 1, 1 bar 0. The direction normal to the slip plane 1, 1 bar, 1 bar will be the same that is 1, 1 bar, 1 bar. So, cos phi n will be u1 u2 plus v1 multiplied by v2 plus w1 multiplied by w2 divided by root 2 and root 3. On solving we will be getting 2 by root 6. Now let us find cos phi d for option A that is the angle between the tensile axis 1, 1 bar 0 and 0, 1 bar 1. So cos phi d will be equal to 1 multiplied by 0 plus minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 plus 0 multiplied by 1 divided by root 2 multiplied by root 2 which will be equal to 1 by 2. So, Schmitt's factor cos phi n cos phi d for option A will be 1 by root 6. For all the other options, we can see that the slip plane is same that is 1 bar, 1 bar and 1. So, cos phi n for those slip plane will be the angle between the tensile direction that is 1, 1 bar 0 and the direction normal to this slip plane that will be 1 bar, 1 bar and 1. So, cos phi n will be 1 multiplied by minus 1 plus minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 plus 0 divided by root 2 multiplied by root 3 which will be 0. From this we can conclude that the Schmitt's factor will be 0 for all the other options B, C and D. So, option A will be the correct answer.